What up, what up, world? Back again, it's your boy Deesa with another Pop Dust exclusive. And my guest at this time is... There's just so many things I could say about you. All good, of mm -hmm, course, mm -hmm. as you know. Mom ain't raised no fool. She's a viral sensation. She's a host. She's also a really dope singer, which is the reason why we're here today to talk about her brand new project, Moods of a Cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Haitian queen, Jesse. Woo! Your sister. How you gang, doing? Gang, gang. How y'all doing? doing? Jesse, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. For those yeah. who may not be familiar with you, tell them a little bit about yourself. I mean, around this time, two years ago, I started posting jokes online while I was living in Flatbush, Brooklyn. I'm a Miami native, but I moved to Brooklyn summer 2016. Fast forward summer 2017, I was jobless. And um, I was posting things online just, I don't know, just I felt like it. Posting up all these Haitian mom jokes and just all these jokes that had to do with the Haitian culture. I felt like I saw a lot of male Haitian comedians, but mm -hmm. not many female and I was like well I mean there's a little open lane there whatever I'll, I'll you know tootsie roll and you know in the lane and before long it just caught on and so many people started to recognize me a lot of people didn't know this about me though but I went to school for journalism and before I moved to Brooklyn I had gotten my master's in mass communications so yeah so it's so funny because while I didn't have a job and I was posting these videos I was looking for a job and I just so happened to be at a meeting, not knowing that my future boss at BET, Tanya Hoffler, would be in that meeting. And she would be hearing me give out funny ideas about a stand-up show. So I ended up becoming a journalist, mm -hmm. finally, at BET. I've been there since fall of 2017. But then another thing people don't know about me is that I've, I sing. And I've always wanted to sing. Very well. Yeah, I, I've, I've always wanted to sing. I like to think I sing well. I've always wanted to sing. I grew up singing in a church. I auditioned for every singing show you could think of, from American Idol to The Boys to, you the know, four. everybody. I auditioned for everything. <laughs> and nothing ever panned out. Um, but it was in my videos, people would see me sing from time to time. And I thought, well... Maybe I do need to take it seriously again. I had quit it when I was in Miami, but you know, the more my face started getting out there, I'm like, okay, maybe I should pick it back up and, and see what happens. So at the top of this year, I said, let me pick it back up. Didn't know what the reception would be. Didn't even think I would have an EP. I thought I was gonna put like a song out there and see what people think. Mm -hmm. But um, I recently signed to KSR and, and Shaf, who's the label head, was like, nah, let's put an EP out. I recorded like almost 30 songs, only picked six. And I was so nervous. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna hate it, they're gonna hate it. <laughs> I, like, even like up until the last minute, I was like, and then when it went live, I just literally looked at my phone and I'm like, let me just see all the comments. And they were so supportive. I was like, what? The title. Mm -hmm. Moods of a Cancer. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting only two songs right. to be on this project. <laughs> oh, excuse me? Either very emotional or very hungry. You know what? That's just, I'm always hungry. I'm always hungry. And not just, not just you know, uh, figuratively too. Like, I'm always hungry. <laughs> like, I'm always hungry for what's next. It's like, I eat right now and I'm already hungry. I just ate and I'm, I'm starving sitting next to you. And then it's like, I just released an EP and I'm already thinking, okay, what's next? When are we going to do the next one? Like, I'm always hungry. <laughs> Cancers stay hungry. But you know, we don't just have two moods. Thank you very much. We are, of course, emotional. We're very loving people. We are very crabby. Petty. Oh <laughs> We're petty. Ugh, no, sorry. no, no, you can say it. You no, ain't gotta. That's my allergies. No, you ain't gotta call nice when you say that. I know I'm petty. My birthday <laughs> twin is is 50 Cent. Okay, both early morning babies, July 6th. We petty. I, oh, you, you ain't gotta tell me. You petty, Davis. Petty. Ooh. But we are also very loyal very very loyal to the fault um you know so i felt like even though it's only six songs mm -hmm. every song puts you in a different mood for you to be able to take your comedic element and pair that with your music i feel like that's something that a lot of artists who actually happen to be comedians don't mm -hmm. do and they should true do. true 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 actually that really was um shaft's idea who's the label head at ksr it's so funny because <laughs> He asked me, he texted me like two days before we dropped and he said, um, Jesse, what's your most 
what's your uh, what's what's the most viral video that you have? And I looked it up and it was no wig. <laughs> when I say I'm gonna come, I'm gonna be super excited. I'm, the next time I go to my Zozo appointment, I'm coming with no wig or nothing. <laughs> Take me as I am. And literally, I said that's the one. And then when he, when we did the listing, he put it right before. Um, fill me up. And so it just the skits literally went. No, no, no. Fill me up has a Zozo appointment. Mm. Um, he put that right before unattainable and in unattainable I talk about like my lipstick ending up on the ceiling and you know th just crazy stuff and it literally just Everything just synced so well together. So that was all his idea. He's a genius. That's dope. That's mm -hmm. dope. Shout out to Shout. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like sometimes people who initially get discovered on social media pigeonholed like just being the social media person? Of course. How do you fight against that? Because you're obviously well-rounded. You have your masters. Like you're not just this woman who decided to prop herself in front of a camera mm -hmm. and just she was off mm -hmm. to the races. There was a lot of thought and a lot of time and effort that went there into was. it. There was. I mean, in the beginning, there wasn't much thought. Mm -hmm. But as I started seeing certain things, I was like, okay, I have to actually think things through. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's hard to get pigeonholed, especially when you are not truly talented. Right. There's a lot of people who have a big following, you know, you see them doing well on social media. And I would see this all the time working at BT. Some of our faves would come in and like they couldn't read prompter. So just because you have a huge following, that doesn't always open every door for you. Mm -hmm. Because if you want to be in movies, you gotta know how to read. Right. If you wanna be a journalist, you gotta know how to write and read. Mm -hmm. And then read prompter. You know, so you know, if you wanna be an entertainer, you might be able to, you know, sing a little jingle for 60 seconds on Instagram, but can you perform at an award show? Right. Like, you know, people underestimate. I've seen a lot of people underestimate um, just the business because they have a big following. And I'm one of those people who I've never made that a big deal. Yeah. Never. When I would go into BET, I did my own makeup. I did my own hair. I never expected anybody to give me nothing, even though they were very supportive. I never went in there like, yeah, I'm Jesse Boo and I got this, now I got this million followers. But never did that. And my bosses will tell you, I always worked like I was a nobody. Because you understand the value. I do. And, and and especially when you know what it's like to be unemployed mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and have to be on EBT cards uh, in New York City. <laughs> it's something about remembering when you take time to just remember how good God is and how you know your hard days led to this you gotta stay humble absolutely you gotta stay humble now that this EP is out into the universe mm -hmm. you've gotten all the feedback you possibly can in such a short amount of time that it's yeah. been out what's next because we know you're working you're always busy but as far as everything that you got coming up what's next for jesse Lee? well right now i'm having a guyad challenge yes so hashtag guyad challenge um which is j-o-u-y-a-d challenge on instagram where um i have my tribe that's what i call my supporters um i'm given a chance to come with me to haiti to shoot my video for vacation we're hey. going to be shooting it in a couple weeks in haiti the wakanda of the caribbean Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jesse Wu. Yeah. Woo! Where can they find you at on social media? Oh, the Jesse Wu on all social media platforms. T H E J E S S I E W O O on all social media platforms. And Moves of a Cancer is out right now. On every streaming platform iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, uh, Pandora, Google Play, YouTube Music, Amazon Music. Uh, all the little, the little uh, pirate websites that be stealing my music. <laughs> like, it, it be everywhere. It's everywhere. Go stream it, download it, buy it, support me, support Haitian artists, support R&B. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another Pop Dust exclusive with your boy, Decent and the lovely Jesse Wu. Shout out to all my zoves. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Peace. <laughs>